Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. I have a great video for you today. Uh, this lovely gent came through, he has a mastoid cavity. Now if you don't know what a mastoid cavity is, uh, basically it's where you have to remove part of the mastoid bone back here. And what that does effectively is widens out the ear canal. It's usually post uh, something called mastoiditis where you get infection in the actual mastoid bone itself. So it has to be surgically removed. It's a very painful condition. Um, so it's, it's quite an extreme case. But what you end up with is a very wide ear canal so we'll see that in a second but what you have to have done is these have to be cleaned out on a regular basis for the majority of patients uh, and what we have here is a patient that hasn't had this done for about four years so we've got a lot of very dry skin and wax in here now you can see I'm really trying to pull this down here with a rose inserter but it's making very little headway the reason we did that and we didn't go straight in as we are here with the Jobson horn is because the mastoid goes in and around so you couldn't get behind it so I had to pull part of this down to be able to try and fit the uh, the Jobson horn behind it but you can see just how tough this is this is tough as all boots this stuff you can see it pulling away there from the top of the canal look how hard that is it is just rock solid but what you'll find is it's also very very crumbly watch what happens when we get a grip here see how it just breaks away so I want you to imagine this is lots of layers of dry wax and skin one over the top of the other sort of like quite striated in there and what will happen is when you start to get a grip those layers will just peel apart and like a, a sort of a <laughs> what's the food analogies like a kind of flaky sort of pastry <laughs> but much less appealing and you can see what's going on here we've just got this this whole section of dry skin and wax and it goes around and into the cavity so I want you to imagine the ear canal and then imagine a ledge that comes over off the side that whole thing that whole shape there is going to be the um ear canal shape in this case so all of this dead skin goes up and onto that ledge so it goes back quite a way which is why it's holding on so tightly you can actually see the eardrum there at the bottom of the screen so when you see how much came out of this ear canal you'll see just what was hiding in these cavities so what you can see it goes up to the uh, up to the right hand side there so it goes all the way around and over the top so we're just going to pull start to pull this down now I'm probing this for any a uh, little bit of purchase that we can get here uh, and you can see I'm really sort of struggling to break this away I'm not too sure where this is actually going to come out now it's not unusual to get these skin issues with mastoid cavities the reason being is when uh, the, the skin normally migrates out of the ear canal look at that oh, sorry two seconds you can see that just starting to pull away there guys let's get the jobs and horn behind that I will come back to that point now but you can see it there we go look how that we've got the skin there underneath see how it's detaching from the canal wall now with any kind of procedure like this one where this wax is tough then I'll always be checking in with the patient do you know the patient was feeling really <laughs> well having this done they actually liked the sensation of getting this out which is kind of understandable when you can see the type of material that's coming away but there you can see that dead skin that's coming away that takes me back to the point I was making earlier which is the dead skin would normally the skin normally migrates out the ear canal when you've got these cavities where they go in and out then that migration process is a lot slower on that one side and because of the scar tissues in there sometimes that gets interrupted so you end up with these big blockages which is what we've got here so normally these patients would be coming through usually sort of every six to 12 months to get this cleaned out with covid uh, a lot of the nhs appointments got cancelled and it was difficult to get people in uh, and this is one of those cases unfortunately but we've got a good chunk of that dry skin and wax material there coming away let's get rid of that first of all there we are now we're starting to get a little bit of headway we can start to see gaps appearing in this now um, but we're going to have to probe a little bit further in so we've still got the rosin insert we've got a little gap just there i'm going to work into let's try pulling on this can you see just how tough that is the rosin insert will start to flex so we've switched here to the saint bart's hook let's see if we can get behind that and give it a good old pull you saw a little bit of movement to the bottom section there the top section is starting to sort of move but it's so crumbly that when we're gripping it with the, the saint bart's hook the, the hook is just sort of pushing and just ripping that that particular part of uh, of the wax plug apart it's like the nemesis for all the tools here because the the crocodile forceps is struggling well this is actually alligator forceps struggling to get hold of this uh, um, and it's really really uh, crumbling breaking down so remember to loosen it with tools and then use others to get this out let's try and get behind this little section 
There, ooh, look at that coming away. Can you see that at the top there? Look at that coming out. There we go. Nice, big chunk coming away. That was a good size piece. Look at that. Out that comes. And we'll take a look behind now. We've got a lot of loose debris here at the bottom of the canal. So let's just start using a little bit of suction. Let's tidy everything up in here. Um, and that's going to help me to see where we're going to work next. So you can see all these tiny, tiny flakes just blocking the suction tube. We're just picking a few up and it blocking it back up again. Okay, so we've got uh, more sort of skin and wax debris on the top. You may have spotted just a little tiny bit of bleeding in there. Uh, with this type of wax, that's not uncommon. As you're pulling this off the ear canal wall, a little bit of dry skin is obviously going to be embedded in there. It's going to pull. Like if you pull a little bit of dry skin, you might get a little tiny bit of blood just appearing. That's what's happened here as well. Um, there we go. We're starting to see that ledge. Can you see it? just the, the ear canal just tailing off to the one side? That's that ledge we were talking about there. So I'm just trying to get a good old, oop, not quite, just trying to get a good old grip on this piece. There we go. Just giving that a bit of a pull. Oh, there's a little bit came out there. Brilliant. Now we can start to see that ledge going over the top. So we're just going to have a little look. Where can we work next? Where can we get behind this piece? There's a little ledge there possibly we could exploit. We'll just have a little look. Let's see. Can we, this is going to be quite a delicate old place. Let's get this piece from the top here. It's just in the way a little bit. Let's lift nearly. There we go. You can see I'm just probing along the bottom of it. Just see if we can get this to loosen. There we go. Now, did you see that start to pull away there? So now we've lifted that off. Can we get the forceps on this or is it going to be too wide? You can see that whole section. Look at that. That whole section just twisted around there. Just looking for anywhere we can get some purchase on this. This is tough, tough stuff. I think we may have to switch. Yeah, is it loose enough for us to get a suction tube on here now? Because it was too tough to do that earlier. There we go. So we're starting to pull this layer of dead skin down from the top. Look how this is starting to peel. There you go. It's all starting to pull down a little bit. Right, let's get the forceps on this now. Is this going to work? Oh, look at, did you see that whole, look at that whole section just coming forwards there. I'm just trying to get a grip, but you can see it's just breaking away in the jaws of the forceps. And every time then we try and get a grip on the next section, it's just those sort of little bits of all jammed up against the end of the forceps there. There we go, pulling that section down. Oh, there we are. That's a little bit, as you can see the dry skin attached right up in the attic there. Let's try and pull this down. Is it going to, oh, it's not quite coming away. No, it doesn't want to come. We're going to have to put forceps on this one as well. There we go. It's got a good grip on that skin. Let's give that a pull. I think we're just going to get that little bit of skin there. There we go. But it gets it out of the way so we can get to the next section. So here we are. Let's grab that piece. Oh, that's good. That's come away nicely. There we go. We're just, are we going to be able to get a grip on this? There we are. Look at that whole section come away there. Some big, big pieces. You can see that bit that actually broke off in the end of the forceps there. I don't think we're going to be able to pick that up with forceps. Oh, we are. There we go. So we can see that coming away. That really, really tough layer there. So how are we looking now? So we've got oh, a little bit of debris up here just to the top right. There's that ledge I was telling you about that goes all the way around. A little bit of debris there to the left-hand side as well. Don't forget, this is all above that eardrum at the moment. So what you're seeing here is, is the actual cavity itself. Now this, look, look how tough that is. Look at the pressure I'm having to put on that uh, wax there with the suction tube just to get this moving. I'm holding on to it with the suction and then using the side of the suction tube to push. You can see all of this coming out of that cavity. Look at the size of that piece coming out of the cavity there. That is huge. Right, okay, let's see if we can get a tool behind that section. Lever this section out here. Just using the side of the Rosen inserter. Whoops, just pushed it back a little bit. Uh, just using the side of the Rosen inserter there. You'll see a lot of dead skin material. Look at that. That was all up in that cavity. Look at all that dead skin at the back of this. So we're effectively taking this whole skin and wax layer that's been resting up in that cavity for a good while because it's tough as anything. But look at that. 
that was a huge piece coming away. You can see all that lighter dead skin material wrapped around this hard plug in there. Okay, so now we can see the cavity. There we go, the cavity's looking a lot clearer. So we've just got this bit now just to the left-hand side. Can we get that bit out as well? How tough is this piece gonna be? Now we have got rid of a lot of the wax around it, so it might mean that this is gonna come away nicely for us. Is it gonna come away with suction? Oh, it's starting to lift a little bit. That's too, it looks a bit too tough to me, unless this top section detaches now. Oh, there we go, it's getting a little bit of movement now. Let's go hold on to that top piece. There we go. Right, let's get this on its side and then we'll go in with the forceps for this one because it's still holding on quite tightly at the back. Forceps taking a battering in this one today. So it's coming away really, really well. Look at that, there we go. That long, thin piece, they really rock solid that bit. Let's tidy up all these little pieces at the bottom here that came away while we're using the, uh, the forceps. Let's get rid of all of these. There we go. You can see all those really, just how crumbly and dry all these pieces are. Just lots and lots of little bits. Now this is the, um, I think this is a standard size on the two we've got in here now. There's a little bit just at the bottom. You can see all these pieces literally just jumping up to the suction. There we go. Now that is looking a lot better. Now don't forget, we could see most of the eardrum when we started this. So it was all up into that cavity. You can see there to the right hand side, all the way up there. Uh, and there's the eardrum right at the bottom of the screen. You can see this. You can see just how much was taken away above. There you go. So you could see the vast majority of uh, the eardrum. So what we took away came out of the cavity and this is what we took away. Five and a half centimeters, two and a quarter inches from one ear canal, remember guys. And they're not small pieces. I know people say, well, you put it end to end, you should weigh it and everything else. But these are big pieces and they are huge. Huge. You can see a really good one to watch. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did voicing it over. Uh, don't forget we post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone.